Hi, right, so I'm going to show you how to do um, staccato. Uh, staccato is very important and useful in and of itself. Um, in terms of uh, the music, um, I mean, it's just a short, spiky note. So, I mean, in pop music um, and classical music, you know, whenever you want to play a sharp note, like. Um, non-stop, right? Uh, or it can be just part of the music. music it, it's so many reasons for staccato to be useful, right? Um, however, in our case, we're learning staccato to focus uh, uh, on opening up the hand because when you do staccato, um, you don't use the whole arm to do this, uh, this, this jerky, uh, spiky movement. You know, staccato, obviously, just like the sound, you know, uh, needs a sharp, quick movement, and to do it with a whole arm would be kind of impractical, right? Uh, it's much better to, in most cases, to just use the hand, like, right? Hmm. Yeah, I think I need to change my strings. I'm um, sorry to unwind, and my bow is not gripping as well. But uh, uh, yeah, I do need to change my strings. But in any in any case, um, as you can see, my hand is making the smaller spiky movements, and this this means I don't need to waste energy using my whole arm for this, right? So if you've worked on the previous video and opening up the hand and fingers a little bit without losing your bow grip. Uh, staccato is just using basically just that. Um, all you're going to do is put the bow on the string, on any string you want, start with an open string, and create a little bit of weight, a little bit of pressure, so you're a little sticky, like a little stick, right? Um, once you've created that uh, potential energy, um, you're going to use that hand motion that we practiced in the last video, this, this motion, to release it. So like this, create a little energy and then right? Create a little energy, a little stick, right? And then or the same thing going down this way. Create a little stick and then like this. Um, so you're gonna practice uh, doing this stroke. Um, don't do it uh, at the tip or um, uh, too high up in the bow at first. Practice it more uh, in the lower half of your bow at first. It's easier to do it like this. Um, and then once you're able to do it, again, this takes a little practice. You will have to do this for a while, um, non-stop, until you get into your little groove. Uh, once you can have it down a little bit, uh, start practicing it also in both up and down directions at the middle of the bow. The tip, yeah, and just make sure that every time the the motion is perfect. It always has to be completely just the hand and fingers, and the sound has to be resonant but sharp. And each repetition must be perfect. Um, you cannot don't don't do anything like uh, or just uh, not setting the bow, not creating that stick, but throwing the bow and just kind of making a rotational motion. That's not it. You need Every time you need to come back, reset, make good contact, make that stick, and then use your hand to release it, right? Come back down, same stick, right? Same weight, right? Release it, only using your hand and fingers. So you need to do that perfectly every single time. And then once you have that uh, down, you go to the middle of the bow, do it also at the tip. 